when I asked on Twitter for recommendations about which of my books to read, so many of you asked me to read for my book, Shark, including Mrs. Ro Ms. Robeck, who wrote, Oh, I have a student who loves your shark book and reads all the shark books he can find. So I'm going to be reading today for my book entitled Sharks. And before I begin reading, I'm going to ask you a question. And the question is, do you know the name of this kind of shark? Look at it. Look at its head. And I bet a lot of you know that this kind of shark is a hammerhead shark. And let me start reading from my book on sharks. Here's the front picture. And let me start reading. It never fails. You're at the ocean, swimming in the surf, and somebody pretends to be a shark. They sing ominous music and then lunge at you. People have always made up myths and legends about creatures they find mysterious and terrifying. Sensationalized books, television shows, and movie, movies strengthen the myth that sharks are always out on the lookout to attack people. But the truth is that there are fewer than 100 shark, at shark attacks worldwide each year, and most victims live to tell their stories. In fact, you have a better chance of being hit by lightning than of being attacked by a shark. Sharks have killed fewer people in the United States in the past 100 years than are killed in automobile accidents over a single holiday weekend. And no shark in the world counts people as part of its regular dinner menu. When you know the truth about sharks, you begin to see them as the fascinating creatures they are, instead of the monsters of myth. But the scariest shark at all, and the best known shark, is the great white shark Perhaps the best known of sharks is the great white shark. It's the third largest shark, but the most dangerous. In the movie Jaws, the great white was pictured as fierce, intelligent, and unpredictable human-eating monster. But human biting is probably most accurate because only rarely does a great white or any other shark actually eat people. When it does attack humans, the great white probably mistakes the swimmer for a sea lion or a seal, its favorite food. And after a bite or two, the shark discovers the person isn't a seal and swims away. This isn't to say that the great white isn't dangerous. Even a single bite can, cross, can cause great loss of blood, shock, and even death. The jaws of a great white shark are filled with 50 two and a half inch pointed teeth. The largest teeth of any shark. Narrow teeth on the bottom hold the prey while the saw edge teeth on top cut it into bite sized chunks. Unlike most fish and many sharks, the great white is warm-bodied, which is not the same as warm-blooded. The great white has a body temperature as much as 10 degrees Fahrenheit, warmer than the surrounding water. The warmer body temperature means more energy so the shark can swim faster and catch its prey more easily. Now, there are many other sharks in my book, so I recommend that you get the book to read. Sharks.